Good morning, Cams. I'm Jordan Thomas. And I'm Haley Tavis. Today is Tuesday, November 10th, and we're coming to you with another live episode of WK Today. If you would still like to donate candy to our soldiers overseas, the Student Council will be collecting until Friday. Student Council and Student Leadership are hosting a winter dance this February and would like your ideas on what type of dance they should have. A survey is online at www.wsdmi.org. You will be able to vote all, week, all this week for the type of dance you want. There are options are Snow Coming, Sadie Hawkins, Winter Forest, or Glow Coming. P please uh, put in your vote. Any sophomores or juniors that are interested in enrolling in OSTC next year for the first time need to fill out and submit a request for consideration form. These forms are located in the counseling office. They must be turned in by December 4th or you will not be considered for enrollment next year. If you have any questions, please contact your counselor. In local news, two of the three men convicted of killing a Waterford man were sentenced to life in prison yesterday. Jake Hirschberger of Waterford was playing with his three-year-old daughter when three armed men broke in and killed him. The third man convicted will be sentenced at the end of the month. After many rumors, the former home of the Detroit Lions, the Pontiac Silverdome, will meet the wrecking ball. The property owner put the Silverdome on the market for $29 million and gave himself a six-month limit. The six months have, have expired and the owner feels like the 127-acre property will be more marketable without the Silverdome there. Have you ever wished you could sleep in longer and come to school later? Our own WK Today reporters caught up with some of our captains to see what they thought about changing the start times for school. Ever wish you could wake up at 7.30 a.m. and start school at 8 a.m. like when we were in elementary school? But we caught up with a few of our fellow captains to get their insight on if we should change the high school and elementary school start time. I think we should switch high school times and elementary school start times because I honestly, it's really hard to focus in the morning when I'm really tired and getting up. Um. I don't know. Sometimes, you know, I'm really divided on. Sometimes I really think that school should start later because I don't like waking up in the morning. But in other times, I realize that means adding more time to the day. And because I do extracurriculars, that means I'm going to have less time to, you know, either relax or do my homework after school um, because I like to take harder classes. So I'm kind of divided. I don't really know for sure. Well, I don't really, I mean, I know like what block scheduling is, but I don't really know how it's really worked for people in the past. I think it would be cool to have an extra day to do homework for another class, but I also think, well, maybe, you know, because it's alternating, you know, I'd have to do the homework the day that I have the other class, so I feel like you'd still really only have one day to do homework when you think about it, because you have different classes. I think that'd be a cool idea to try, um, because it's, so there'd be more time and days to get your homework done for a certain class and not have it every day to have homework done. The only issue with changing high school start times is it makes sports practice in the morning and takes away from after school activities. Well, even though I don't play a sport, I would maybe I would probably say it'd be harder because even though it'd be a good wake up call, the fact that I feel like you'd be more sluggish if you were having to run laps and do um, you know, lifts and everything. So I think it'd be harder. Not just because school would get out later, and it so there'd be less time to do homework. But if sports started early in the morning, then there'd be more time. We caught up with two kids and alumni to tell us what it was like when they had block scheduling. Uh, when we had block scheduling at Kettering, we only had certain classes um, each day, so we didn't have every class every day, and each class period was about 90 minutes instead of 50. I felt like I did learn more only because we had more time to ask questions and for teachers to give the material, it was like a rush against the clock. Well, they started block scheduling my freshman year, my first year of high school. And uh, I remember, my opinion is kind of different from I think a lot of other people's. Um, I didn't really like the block scheduling. Uh, I didn't like sitting in the same classroom, sitting in the same seat for like two hours, listening to the teacher give this really, really long lecture. Um, it was kind of hard to stay awake, to be honest. When we had block scheduling, I thought it was a lot easier to complete the homework because we had more time in class to complete the homework. Like a lot of teachers would teach for 50 minutes, and then you would have time afterwards to complete the homework. And sometimes for some classes, you had two days to do your homework, so it really taught you how to like prioritize and to learn how to balance more important homework over less important homework. 
Um, I'd say I had a lot more time to do my homework in class. Um, usually the teacher would give us kind of like a lecture for the first hour and then we'd have either a whole another hour or half hour to uh, really just kind of work on our homework towards the end of class before uh, we ended up leaving. So I'd say I had way, way more time to do homework. I do believe that you should return back to block scheduling because even in college, you don't have class every day, so it teaches you how to prioritize and how to prep yourself for not having every class in college each day. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that you should switch back to it. Uh, I didn't really like the block schedule uh, as much as a lot of pe other people did. Um, I found it really hard to kind of stay focused after sitting in the same classroom, sitting in the same seat, listening to the same teacher talk for a really long time. It just kind of got annoying and over excessive and after a while it was just repetition and you're just kind of being fed the same information for that day. What's your insight? Block scheduling or later start time? Signing off, back to you guys at the news desk. Maybe we could try this out in the future. The Kettering GSA Club will be, will be meeting today in room 417. As always, we invite all and any students uh, to join us for the meeting. Now let's turn it over to Donald for sports. There will be a short football meeting in the cafeteria tomorrow right after school for anyone interested in playing football next year. There will also be a parent skier meeting for students interested in being on the Waterford United Ski Team on Thursday at 7 p.m. in the LGA. That's all for sports. Now back to you guys in the news desk. Thanks, Donald. If there are any seniors who have not had their, head, their senior headshots taken, there will be a photographer coming to the school on Friday, November 13th, and he will be here from 10 until 12.30 in room 501, taking pictures for $5. This will be your last day for that, se that yearbook will accept any headshots or senior quotes, no exceptions. You must wear a dress shirt or other clothing that is senior picture appropriate. Casual clothing will not be allowed. Please see Ms. Grossnickel in room 501 with any questions. If anyone has any story ideas they would like to see covered on the program, please come and let us know in room 503. Well, that's all we have for you today, Captains. Once again, I'm Jordan Thomas. And I'm Haley Tavis. We will see you with another episode of WK Today tomorrow.